Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix high CPU temperature issue when playing Battlefield 6 open beta or even the game when it comes out. So first of all before I show you how to do it make sure that your CPU is not overheating from other issues like cooling issues. So first make sure that your cooler is properly mounted and it's not a thermal pest issue not an airflow issue first you have to make sure those are checked even after you make sure that those are all working fine you're still getting high cpu temperature while playing battlefield 6 um, this is where i'm going to show you how to fix that but then also if you are having this issue in other games as well then it might be a cooling issue itself and another thing is keep in mind that this is not a fix for high CPU uses uh, but just for high CPU temperatures so if your CPU uses is constantly 100% that's probably just a game pushing the limits of your CPU um, but it's if it's around like 90 to 80 or sometimes hitting 100 that's fine then this should work for you as well so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download throttle stop software I'm going to show you how you can download that. You can just Google throttle stop and from this first result we are going to download. So for me I, I downloaded the latest stable one. You're going to click download. Ch uh, check the server that's closest to you and it will be downloaded. So once it's downloaded the, from here it's a very small software just one megabyte this is the only file you need which is the application you're gonna copy that and paste it wherever you want it to and um, yeah so for me I have the shortcut here so I can show you make sure you open it as administrator it should by default open as administrator if not make sure it does so <clears throat> what's going on here using this we're basically tuned down the cpu power a little bit so we'll decrease the power limits a little bit disable turbo to make sure that the cpu is not taking as much power it's taking what's required and not extra power because sometimes what happens is well in my case i have a core i5 11400 and this is this is actually decent CPU for the game like I am able to run it constantly at 75 FPS uh, I could get more if I unlock it but 75 units sh should be enough um, so I can do that with my power decreased and it doesn't affect my performance in any way so what I'm trying to say is that the game is still getting the amount of power it needs from the CPU after I change some of the settings and um, um, tune the CPU power down a little bit. But then you don't have to do it all the time. You, you can only enable these settings when you're actually playing Battlefield 6 and then as soon as you're done playing, you can go back to normal. It's really simple. It's just a matter of a click. So once we are here, it's going to be by default, it's going to be here, performance. So these are basically presets. What we will do is we're going to go to game so it's easy to you know just turn off and turn on turn back it on once you're here in the game preset now we're going to change some of the settings the first one is to uh, check this box speed shift EPP you're going to check this box here and then you might see 128 here we're going to change that we're going to change that to 64 64 SSD and once that's done we're gonna disable turbo so if your CPU has turbo boost it's gonna disable the turbo boost some people might tell you that it's um, not actually good to disable turbo boost but that's only if the program you're trying to run um, requires more CPU power but in this case for my CPU and if you have like even a, even more powerful CPU, it will not need Turbo Boost to run Battlefield 6. You know, it's still gonna run at like 75 or even higher FPS without Turbo Boost. So disable Turbo Boost. Make sure these two are checked. 
and then we are going to FIVR you're gonna click this All right the first one here you see it should be on CPU core make sure that's that's checked CPU core and you're gonna check this box unlock adjustable voltage and select adaptive and then we're not gonna mess with the uh, the voltage here but we're going to decrease the offset voltage so what you will do here you can you can write here so you'll have to move this slider it will be at zero you'll move this slider or you can use these arrow keys here to get it to minus 80 uh, it sometimes it will not go exactly minus 80 so that's fine just go 80.1 so set it to minus 80.1 millivolts just remember this number whatever it is it can be around 80 and then once that's done you will go to CPU cache one so this one select this one once you do that you will do the same thing you know you'll unlock the adjustable voltage set it to adaptive and for offset voltage now this is important you gotta have have it set to the exact uh, offset voltage as your CPU core for example here you can see CPU core we set it to minus uh, so this is in volt and this is in millivolts just so you don't get confused uh, so this is set to that right and you have to make sure that your CPU cache one is also set to that so this is set to minus 80.1 millivolts and if you go to CPU core you see this is also set, set to minus 80.1 so you're good and the last thing on this page we're gonna do is we're gonna go to turbo ratio limits and uh, choose like a lower number so it could be like for a six cores it could be 42 um, and then these would be lower but set all of these to like a lower number for me I can't set it to exact value I probably could but I have some set values here as we can see and I just set it to 39 for all of them right so make sure it's not running on boost if it's over 40 it's probably running on boost like that's the limit but we want to limit it to a lower uh, turbo boost value so which is going to be 39 or you could do 36 as well depending on how how much the temperature is once you're in the game for 39 I'm getting decent results uh, and if you your temperature is still high you could limit it to 36 but that might come at a performance cost so yeah for us we're gonna keep it at 39 and everything else should be as is next here at save voltage changes make sure to uh, select ok save voltage um, voltages immediately and hit ok apply and then ok all right now everything should be set the last thing you want to do you have to save this file so hit save so that's gonna save your settings so each time you open this application it's gonna load your default settings the settings that the ones we changed and then you before you start the game itself you will turn on these settings once you hit turn on basically all these settings are gonna be applied and then you can turn on the game don't close this this will just minimize it it will be here under here um, oh, not there here um, so that's fine that's not a problem once you so we, before we turn on the game on we'll turn this on right now we just turned it on and uh, I'm gonna show you in the game but before that let me also tell you that once you're done playing you can just open this up and then turn it off turn it off and close the application now your uh, setup and CPU power everything is set back to you know how it was before so you don't have to worry about that only when you're running Battlefield 6 or any other game where you're having high CPU temperature issues um, then you will open this software and game you see all our settings are saved and turn it on minimize it and open the game so before this I was getting about 90 to 100 degrees Celsius 
on my CPU the CPU temperature was about 100 degrees Celsius but after I applied these settings I get 75 FPS no performance issues but my temperature is now less than 60 degrees that's a huge huge shift and I'm gonna show you proof of that I'm not gonna show proof of like it being 100 degrees Celsius because I'm not gonna you know run it back you just have to take my words for it but yeah I'll show you that the game runs um, fine with only at only 60 degrees Celsius it doesn't exceed it like it goes up to 63 but that's about it So let me know if it works for you as well. For me, it's uh, I was able to play the game for hours without having any any temperature is issues. Whereas before applying these settings, I was getting like constant 199 degrees Celsius, which was you know unplayable. Um, so yeah, let me know if it works for you. And yeah.